Hello and welcome back to Europa Novalis for the Great Can. We are seized a lot of Baluch stand down here and we're going to finish this war this episode. They have low enthusiasm so it's just a matter of sieging up all of their provinces and taking what we can. This is their only army. I think we can deal with it. So let's head down here and get it. I also noticed that Merv became unseaged when we ended the War of Bukhara. I wonder if that's because they currently had control. I had assumed it would switch over to Baluchistan. Maybe it got unseaged and I didn't notice it, but I think it's because uh, they didn't transfer control. Oh, wow. Baluchistan, your army disappeared. Let's just head straight in. We can gain money or we can suffer no infidels. It's a lot of money. We'll just gain the money. Does that allow us to repay one of our loans? Not quite. We have a lot of loans. We should pay them off at some point. We'll send merc we'll detach the mercenary, send them into siege, and then send our other army out here to sit and not take attrition. So Baluchistan, what do we want from them? We want all of Persia's cores, which is that bit there. And then we want probably any provinces that are good. They don't have any good provinces. Uh, maybe we'll just take this entire coast for Persia. Like, we'll just take as much as we can. So we could take, like, all... We can take quite a lot already. We can take about that much already. Let's see what a 100 war score might look like for us. So what if we took... Something... A peace deal that's something like... Uh, Thing is, do we want the provinces ourselves? We maybe don't even want the provinces or want some provinces ourselves. So let's uh, give Persia this bit, and then we'll take like a line down. Although we want this line of provinces. Hmm. Maybe if we give Persia those three, because those are their cores, we'll then just take a straight line into India for ourselves. Persia can have that province. And then we'll take war reparations and their money. That works. That seems like a peace deal that we would be happy with. Okay. So, we'll just uh, siege them up. We don't even have to siege the provinces we're after, but it is worth doing it because it, it makes them a little cheaper. In fact, that, we might be able to take more than that in the peace deal because provinces that we don't control cost more, I believe. So, yeah, it's something we could do. Nope, we're not going to accept that peace deal. We don't want to give anything to Delhi. I understand why they're giving us that deal, though. They're giving us that deal because uh, Delhi is probably the only one with actual claims on any of the provinces. Taking bust. Let's just head in here. Take out their army and then take out another fort. Oh, oh, what are you doing, Delhi? You haven't decided yet. Where are you going? Okay, whoa, okay, what we got here? So, we lose five inflation, bank loans will be set to six times monthly income. We can, okay, so all of these is just choosing the loan amount. I think we want to choose a 24 times monthly income for bank loan size. Just because the bigger the loan, the more, like, the more money we can get if we need it. Seems obvious. And the inflation lowering is perfect because it means that our, we get more money. We invest in, that, in the last humanist idea which will decrease idea costs from now on and increase our tolerance of heathens. So we'll do that. And now all of our admin points can be spent on tech and coring. We don't have to worry about that. We might not need to sit on here either but these are all mercenaries and we don't really care if we take attrition. It would be nice to build an actual army as well at some point. We can repay this loan. 16 uh, ducats a month. Not bad. Not bad at all. Peace offer from Baluchistan. Obviously we're going to say no to that. Uh, do we still have an army in Oman? I don't think Oman has an army anymore. Unless they're here. No. We'll set this as their uh, objective anyway. See if they'll go over there. If they get an army. 
Right, 97% war score. We could actually peace out right now for all of what we want. And a little bit more money? Mm, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care that we don't, like, we could take more, but we don't need to take more. That seems like an amount that we can take. Oh, need to transfer control to Persia. Very important. And I guess that means we need to take uh, Kerman as well, actually. Just so that we can uh, transfer control properly. And not make Persia like us, which will hopefully get rid of this high liberty desire they have. They have it because uh, Portugal's supporting their independence. We won the naval race versus Lithuania. Did you just lose your entire navy, Lithuania? I think they brought them over to the Ottomans. Fantastic, we're great in naval races. Rival of rival, Ming's opinion is at least 100. What's your opinion, opinion of us, Ming? Yeah, we can do that. Rival of rival. Prove relations. They might actually take a aggressive expansion from us over here, but we have better relations over time, which is fine. We can do that. Oh, we also need to take this province for Persia. It's fine, we can do it. Uh, let's split up our army, send the other army down here. Um, next level of military tech, we'll take it. And let's improve the cannons. We don't have that many cannons. In fact, I don't think... Yeah, we have a few cannons in this army, actually. We don't have that many cannons outside that army. Persia. Army reform has gone away. And truce of it has expired with Lithuania. Could lead them to attack us, but they're not going to attack us. Because they would only attack us uh, if they weren't in this war with the Ottomans. I'm actually worried how much land the Ottomans are going to lose. Could mean we could attack them, though. We want to be completely uh, vicious. Right. So I want to give these provinces like that. We have transferred control, just one check. So Persia will take a bunch of provinces. And we'll take the rest. Yup. We get some aggressive expansion, but nobody's going to join a coalition. Got all the money we can take. We've got the war reparations. And we are actually at exactly 100 war score. Let's go. Perfect. Persia are still rebellious, but they should uh, change soon. They are actually 100% liberty desire, which might mean they actually auto fire a rebellion. I can't remember. Don't know why it's that. It's because of our diplo. It's because of our, uh, what's it called? Diplomatic uh, technology? Yeah, it gives 35%. And if that went down, then they'd have less. Oh man's not going to declare liberty. Let's uh, get rid of some of this war exhaustion. Just pay it down. I know, that's why we're so far behind on diplo cost. Uh, and we're going to build another, let's see. Oh, I was going to build a lot Oh, those are cannons. We don't want to build cannons. We want to build infantry. We're going to get another, like, six or seven of those. Or, like, ten of those. And the reason we're going to do that is because that will mean that we're stronger than Persia. Like, it takes away the Persia is stronger than us thing. We're them over a hundred opinion. They should switch soon, I think, if they're going to switch. But they won't because they have high, they still have the high liberty desire. It's all because of Portugal. That's the only reason that they're not going to change. Because Portugal are supporting their independence. That's, in my mind, that's what it is anyway. Right, we got rid of your rebels. We're doing everything for these people. They're a little bit less than 100 now. That's nice. Liberate their provinces. They'll like us even more. And we can get them up to 100, uh, no, 200 improved relations, so that should be fine. Free city, okay. Can we core any more now? Uh, not quite. It's not going to take it, cost us too much to core all of this. Might be time to do the war for Oman. It's in the war in, against Hejaz. The Ottomans are going to lose so much land to Poland. It's actually great. Is this a fort they had? They still have a fort here? Oh. I thought we were finished sieging 
Damn no. Rebel Uprising gonna happen in Khorastan. Where does it say it's gonna happen? Yeah, just Khorastan. It's not gonna happen. Lose stability or lose prestige? Lose prestige. That's an easy choice. Give us that again. So Jean Pur are probably the next people we want to attack, but we have a truce of them until uh, 1655, so three years. Oh, we got a small uh, border of Marwar here, and we don't have a truce with them, and they have no allies. We have no reason to declare war, so we need to fabricate a claim on them. We can do that. That'd be a nice bit of land for us. Need to fabricate a, a claim on Naj if we don't already have one. Who don't we need to improve? Oh, no, we need to improve relations with all of these people, so we'll do that in a bit. Yes, so we have the 10 man army down here. And the 13 man army down here. If we're going to attack uh, Marwar next, we can core a couple more provinces. One more province. Oh, Persia. Why, why you still hate us? I think if we get them to 200, they might actually have to not hate us anymore. They're now just disloyal. Uh, anything we can do for them? Like... Mm, force your vassals to pay more of their income, but they'll no longer be called into war. They have no army, so we could do that right now. How much are they giving us in money? Are they giving us nothing? Oman gives us nothing because marchers do not pay tax, and they're giving us nothing because disloyal subjects refuse to pay tax. Okay, that's fine. They don't, probably don't make that much money anyway. Uh, Omani pretender rebels rose up on the province that Oman had their army on, so... I didn't ha that wasn't a long uh, rebellion. Do we actually have a claim on Naj? I forgot to check. No, we didn't, we didn't uh, fabricate a claim on Naj. Oh man managed to cope with their own rebels though, which is a first for one of our vassals. Right. Oh yeah, we have all of these uh, fleets. Wait. We didn't pay for those. That must be a bug, because those must have been Baluchistan was building ships. And then we got to keep them? That doesn't seem right. That seems a little off there. Like, extremely off actually. Uh, I assume they were all barks, but they built galleys, which will disband. They built a transport. Why, why would you need to transport anyone anywhere? No. You can join our group, though, in Basra. That's fine. Hormoz is actually pushing a relatively large amount of money forward as well now, compared to what it was. Lumen Disaster. It's still looming. Aspiration for Liberty. What's this? Um, can happen under the following circumstances. We need to have higher admin tech for that to happen. And stability less than zero. Civil war is still progressing because of our overextension though. We need to get higher legitimacy for that to uh, go away. Is it worth killing our current fantastic guy here as 555 in hopes of getting rid of civil war? I wonder what the stop requirements are. If it's having high legitimacy that could be a problem. I'll look that up between episodes. Almost finished fabricating our claim, which means that we could get Marwar. Do they have any cores? They have cores of Maltan. I'd prefer just to attack, though. That's the thing. Hmm. Yeah. I'll. Ha it'll depend on what are on what the actual results of that. Um. What's it called? That disaster. Are. Like what you need to get rid of it. If it's you need to have really low unrest, we could possibly get there. Why is it so high? Yeah, it's high because of war exhaustion and overextension. It's not that bad. I didn't realize they added that much to unrest, actually. I thought we had really good unrest because of our um, humanist ideas, but I suppose it's only minus two from humanist. Ah, it's the uh, tolerant tolerance makes it seem lower than it is. All right. Let's uh, pay off a loan. Only got three loans left. We're almost uh, debt free. Court, uh, oh, was that Court of Province? 
Yeah, that was, that was the core noise. Invest in Diplotech if we want. It might be worth investing in Diplotech because that would uh, make Persia hate us less. Let's do it. Let's just put some into Diplotech just to uh, until Persia no longer hates us. Right. Um, yeah, we're pretty much just set, waiting for this uh, core. We've got another ship built. It was a caravel at least. That's fine. It's very nice of Baluchistan to leave us some ships. I don't suppose that they queued up like loads and loads of ships, did they? Uh, no they did not. Okay. I think if I cancelled them I would actually gain money as well. Which is weird to think about. We gained Conquest Caspell against Marwa. Uh, do they have any alliances? Nope. We might as well just fire that off when we can then. Okay, 10 days and... Well, actually, do we still have high war exhaustion? Not really that high war exhaustion. We can do a war with Marwa. Don't need to call in Delhi. Yep, done. No man in Persia joined because they have no choice. And we'll just move our armies in. Tell us about cotton uh, imports. Okay. And they have really, really low military tech, so we should easily win, even with our t just ten-man army of nothing. Yeah. Our general died. We need a new general. Well, we can pay for one of those. Three-two could be worse. Provinces like core. Well, we'll set it to core. We have no way past, so we'll send this army back and just leave the. Uh, I suppose we'll send the eight-man army back and leave the thirteen-man army. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll look up that disaster for next time. And I will see you next time.